hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything was alleged some it's not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all y'all i don't think i can do no more more three stuff tonight i just can't and i'm gonna tell y'all why um i start going back to those old videos and i start getting sad i don't know why i get sad on his birthday all the time um so what i did was just start going to look at other people tributes to mo3 and i just was satisfied with that i i can't i, I just can't put up anymore the older videos because it just makes me mad y'all so I, I have to just relax and you know um fall back on that okay y'all but um rest in peace to mo3 i just couldn't y'all i'm sorry Anyway, I wanted to jump into Lizzo's. Um, she calling herself want to throw in the towel, y'all. She don't want to be an artist anymore. And she's saying that, you know, every time that she um, try to get on social media or anything like that, she's saying that um, this is what she's being subject to, um, subjected to. Um, people bullying her, you know, fat shaming her and stuff like that. And she says she's sick of it. She says she wants to just, you know, go somewhere and get away from people because people are mean and this and that and that and this. Um, what do y'all think about this? Do y'all think that, you know, I'm going I'm to I'm break down my thing about Lizzo, okay? And I'm going to tell y'all this. Um, I always say this, you know, for to be a celebrity or, you know, a public person in the first place, um, you have to have tough skin. Okay, because this comes with the territory. But I also have to say this as well. Um, you can't add fuel to the fire either. Okay? If you know you are already big, you can't, you know, be out here just with everything all out in the open and just, you know. Um, that makes it ten times worse. And I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about real quick. Okay? Uh, first of all, you see her at this concert or whatever she's performing, whatever she's doing it with this outfit on. And I think she's so pretty. I really do. I think she's really pretty. And I think she's very, very talented. I must say that, okay? But to me, this is my personal opinion. I don't even think it's all about her weight. I think it's about the way she dresses, okay? And I know people be like, oh, she's just confident. No. It's not about being confident, you know. Yeah, that's a good thing. But just because you're confident don't mean you should wear the things that you wear. If this was anybody, this could be Taylor Swift's little bony butt, okay, y'all? And I would say that this outfit is inappropriate to wear. You know, um, people's getting ridiculous with the outfits now. And I think that play a major part in why she get teased so much. And she don't even understand. Um, it's the way that you dress. Um, I want y'all to think about, what's her name? The one that's the talk show host, um, Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams, um, when she dress appropriately, she looks nice. Okay? She looks nice when she dress in appropriate outfits. But when she got on Daisy Dukes and all of this, everybody is looking at her like, your time is up for that, girl. Put that up. And even if her time wasn't up, so if you're you're not shaped to wear certain things, you shouldn't wear it. And, and I say that to anybody, any size. Okay? I think that is her major problem is, you know, the way that she dresses. It's okay to perform in a nice outfit. Why do you have to have all of your cheeks out and all of that? And then you got the nerve to get all upset when somebody say something about it. You are encouraging them to say something to you because you're putting it all in their face like that. And it does not matter what size. I just want y'all to look at some of these. And y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Do y'all think that it has a lot to do with the way she dressed? The, way, the, the reason why people talk about her the way they do. Now, look at her face, y'all. Ain't she pretty? 
she is so pretty to me. And I think she is the most talented, one of the most talented artists out here right now. I really do. I think she's so talented. But why do you have to wear something that looks like you will wear on the beach? Swimming suits or something like that. On the stage. It's a time and a place for everything. And sooner or later, they're going to learn this. Okay? And it's not about just her and, you know, somebody that's big, somebody that's small, somebody that's medium. If, if you had a nice shape and you wore this, I still would say this is not the appropriate place to wear this. You wear stuff like this to the beach, okay? Not to uh, on a on a stage with a whole bunch of people in it. It just don't make no sense. And y'all, let me know what y'all think about this too, because I'm just saying, I would hate to hear that she um stop singing, y'all, and performing because of the bullying. I really would. I would hate for her to stop. Because she's too sad, talented to not keep doing what she's doing. But put some clothes on. Put some nice outfits on. Um, this is what she says. She says, y'all really need to touch grass. I'm not trying to be, you know, big. I'm not trying to be small. I'm literally just trying to live and be healthy. This is what my body looks like even when I'm eating super clean and working out. I understand that a lot of people feel that way. But put some clothes on. And you don't have to be covered up in a snowsuit either. But wear the appropriate clothes. And I bet you any money that she wouldn't get much backlash as she's getting right now. I bet you she wouldn't, y'all. Okay? And then she says, y'all speak on shit, sh y'all know nothing about. And this is what she's saying to people. She also said, I just logged on in the app. And this is the type of shit I see about me on a daily basis. It's really starting to make me hate the world. And it's sad to hear this coming from her. Somebody that has uplifted so many people with her music and, you know, big girls have, you know, she have given them power. And apparently she got to, she going to have to give herself some power because now it's seeming like stuff is getting to her. Well, then again, she could just be feeling like she got her, you know, a new boyfriend now, and she probably just feel like, you know, I can just go live my life with my money. I don't got to be bothered with nobody. I don't got to entertain y'all. I don't got to be put out here for the world to keep talking about. I can just go do me. Um, And then someone in the comments said, I eat lots of fast food. She said, I literally stopped eating fast food years ago. And she says she's tired of explaining. Don't explain. Look at her in this outfit and look and think about the other outfit that I just showed you. Which one looks more appropriate for her? With her being covered up, y'all. This looks more appropriate. Now, she don't have to be like all covered up all the time like this. But a little, a little, you know, Put a little bit more on sometime and you just look more presentable. I'm just saying, y'all. This is just how I feel. I want to look up something really quick about Lizzo while I'm talking to y'all. Because I feel so bad that she even feels this way. <sighs> Lizzo done made a lot of money, y'all. She's worth $40 million. I think Lizzo just want to um, go chill out. She don't want to be bothered. She wants to enjoy her life. And not have to entertain anymore. Go on tours or none of that. She could just go live her life with her, you know, her boo and chill out. I think this could be a possibility of what this is about. And she's just using that as an excuse. She's been out here for a while. So why now is you letting this get to you when you, you know, they've been doing this. But look what you wear at the concerts. Even this female that's over here on the floor with the white on, she looks like she got some shorts on. And she's small. She's way smaller than Lizzo. But she looks like she has some, some little white shorts right here. And Lizzo, look how she always got the cheeks out. And then you wonder why people talk about the cheeks when you always got them out. Put some clothes on. And this, I mean, y'all, this is for any and everybody. It's not just her size. And this is my personal opinion. I don't know what y'all feel, but do you all feel that it's all about her weight? Or do you all feel like it's about the way she dresses? 
and the way she's presenting herself to everybody, throwing it out there in their face like that, and this is why they feel like they can say something about it. Ain't nobody saying nothing about this one over here on the floor. You know why? Because it looked like she got on appropriate clothes. She got some shorts on covering up the cheeks. But this is how Lizzo feel like she she should just be out all everything all out all the time. And this is why I think she's getting all the backlash and people talking about her the way they are. Now, this was the most stupidest thing that I've ever seen in my life, y'all. And I said this before. This look ridiculous. And this, I don't know if it's a phase that people is going through. This the new day and age and people just feel like they can change trends how they want to. But I said this before. I wish we could go back into them days where Big Mama was around, y'all. And Big Mama would tell you, go put some clothes on. You know what I'm saying, y'all? No matter what new styles come out, go put some clothes on. Because right now, this new trend of showing everything just don't make no sense. And Sierra put this dress on for the awards and everybody is starting to wear it now. With no, Don't want to cover up no more. And they want to show it all. And it doesn't matter if they, you know, Christians, whatever it is. They just feel like, oh, if I can, I can you know, got the body to wear it, I'm going to wear it. But that's not appropriate all the time. People don't want their kids seeing that, y'all. Leave something to the imagination sometimes, okay? And this right here, all the pregnant women, everybody now, this is the year 2023, and everybody and their mama now that gets pregnant, their new thing is to have the belly out, y'all. And I just wish they would go back to old school on this one, y'all. I truly do. Cover the belly up. It just looks, it makes you look like a pregnant, you know, street walker. That's what it makes you look like when you got all your body parts out. You know, it, it just don't make sense. It would, why do you think that they made paternity clothes in the first place? So that you could be comfortable in the clothes that you're wearing while you're pregnant. And still have the belly. OK, but now they want to go and, you know, make themselves look like a clown because this is what this looks like right here. And I bet she paid a lot of money for this little outfit and it made her look stupid, even as pretty as the brat is. This made her look like a fool. And she thought she was looking good right here, y'all. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. If she would have had a regular jersey on. She would have looked way much better than walking around looking like this. What's wrong with going back to these days right here, y'all? You know, that's one of the things that used to be some of the, you know, one of the prettiest things to see a pregnant woman glowing and happy and covered up and, you know, looking like, a, you know, a mother, a respectable, you know, mother to be. But this is not what's going on right now. Everybody is out here looking like, you know, you a mother to be, but you also looking like a, you know, a street walking mother to be. Which is with all your stuff out. Rihanna did the same thing with all her stomach out. Even as pretty as Rihanna is, don't nobody want to see y'all belly. And I was looking at a video today. I came across Krishan Rock and um Blueface. I guess they was at a restaurant or something like that. It's her turn for him to hang out with her now. And um, he's back hanging out with Krishan. And she's in a restaurant. And she looks like she got a bra on. And I didn't even see the bottom. But most likely it's probably going to look like she got on a swimming suit at, at a, in a um, restaurant. Well, respectable people is sitting in there eating. And this is how people is dressing out here, y'all. You go into these, you know, nice restaurants and places and look like you got on a bathing suit and everybody else is dressed. And you're pregnant and you're dressed like this. I'm so happy that I don't go to a lot of places out to eat and stuff like that. As far as going out to eat. Like I, I like to go places and be out in the open. As far as you know, um, you know, just parks, just stuff like that. I don't like to be, I would feel better, you know, getting my food and take it somewhere and eat than go into a restaurant and eat these days because of the, the young women that's out here. And I'm be completely honest. I don't like to sit behind people. And especially if you got your tail out and you just got up from a seat and they don't go and spray it and wipe it down. 
I don't like to go and sit behind people like that, y'all. Only time, like, I, if I want to go to a restaurant, I like to go when they first open up so that they be done cleaned up the place and, you know, give time to air out. And then the next day, you get some more people coming in. I, I just don't like sitting behind people like that. You know, if I, I said this about Sierra when she was at the award show and she had that see through, um, dress on or whatever i said i wouldn't want to go and sit in a seat behind her i wouldn't y'all i really wouldn't if you got on some you know undies and you got on some pants then fine oh man sitting behind you you know you get up and all man sitting down but i don't want to sit in nobody's seat and they tail out y'all i just can't do it it just seemed nasty like i wouldn't even feel right eating in a place and somebody is you know what i'm saying y'all what happened to these days right here what happened to these type of maternity clothes that made you look cute? To, that made you had to show off that belly and glow and look cute at the same time. And look comfortable and respectful that you can go different places and everybody ain't staring at you. Is this what it's about now? To get attention, y'all? Because that's what it's seeming like to me. It's all about attention. What's wrong with this? She ain't take a pair of scissors and cut her stomach out because she want everybody to see her belly. What for? I don't understand it, y'all. But this is what's going on right now. And I, I truly believe that if Lizzo had on some clothes, she wouldn't be talking about retiring right now and leaving the music industry, which might be a good thing with all the demonic stuff that's going on right now. And I've been keeping up with her to see if she's into all this demonic stuff. But it might be a good thing if she, um, I like this picture right here. It's so pretty. Um, it might be a good thing for her to be leaving. And I don't even know what record label she's with. Who is she even signed to, y'all? Oh, let me check real quick before I get off of here. Because, y'all, I'm about to go watch Sisters real quick. It came back today, and I am going to watch Sisters. And I hope it's better than it went off because they've been making me mad, y'all. Um, Lizzo's record label is, let me see, Atlantic Records. Prior to signing with Nice Life Recording Company and Atlantic Records, Lizzo released two studio albums, Lizzo Bangers and Big Girl Small Rural. So her record label is TG and NP, Atlantic Records, and Nice Life. BGSW. Okay, so basically, yeah, she got a couple of people she didn't stand with, I guess. $40 million, I guess she says she don't got to be bothered no more. Even her album cover, I'm looking at one of her album covers. It looks like she has no clothes on, on the album cover. I mean, what do you... What do you expect if this is how you're presenting yourself? That's all I got to say. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. And I really do hope she don't retire because she is, you know, I like her. I like her. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.